I just had an experience where I used a piece of software that felt like it was reaching into my brain, pulling out the thoughts and putting them on the screen for me. And then it reached into its own brain and pulled out some thoughts I didn't even know that I should be thinking. It's not often I can say that kind of blew my mind, but cove.ai, that kind of just blew my mind. I actually filmed an entire video about this product yesterday, but I was so blown away by what it was doing. I was actually kind of speechless as I was filming, which was super fun for me to discover all these new things, but really didn't make very good viewing content. So I'm going to film again today and try to get my thoughts into some form of coherent statement. I came across this new whiteboarding tool called Cove. You can find it at cove.ai and it is like the whiteboard planning tool that you always wish your whiteboard planning tool was. It's like if Pinterest and vibe coding got together and created something. Let's watch a little bit of Cove's intro video. I want to kind of highlight a few points that they make that I probably won't get to in my demonstration. Cove is a visual workspace where you think with AI. Cove is a new way of working with AI. Everything's laid out on an open canvas. Cove jumpstarts your thinking by breaking down projects into smaller steps. Create new cards by simply dragging them anywhere into the space. Cove is always available to help fill things in. In Cove, all content is fully editable by both you and AI. It may suggest new cards to bring into the space. One of the families joining is vegetarian. With that new information, Cove is suggesting we think about a vegetarian-friendly meal plan. With our Chrome extension, Cove tucks into your browser's sidebar so you can automatically use AI with all your favorite tools and websites. Think of Cove as your home base for your projects. Say goodbye to that mess of Chrome tabs you keep open. Cove helps you save, organize, and synthesize your collected knowledge. We hope Cove is a place that facilitates the messy, winding way our brains naturally solve problems. Okay, so Cove, found at cove.ai, and you can sign in with Google, which I will do. And I was playing around with this a little bit yesterday, so I do have a few spaces, but I am going to go ahead and make a new space. It's what they call each individual whiteboard. It's a cove, I suppose, because you have these cute little fish. All right, so when you come in, it's blank, and it's got their little AI guy, and you can chat with Cove. I am continuing my perpetual search for a garden. Hey Cove, I am trying to plant a flower bed in my front yard, and I am using Super Whisper, which is just a voice-to-text system, so you'll see those little waveforms pop up every once in a while. That's just so I don't have to type because I cannot type and think and speak all at the same time. All right, so all I told it was I am trying to plant a flower bed in my front yard and it goes off and it creates several cards. Each one of these squares, they call them cards. And it gives me several cards of what it imagines I will need for a flower bed, which is good because again, I don't know what I'm doing. So they've got recommended flowers for the flower bed and they have sort of a generic list, flower bed planning guide, but over here, they've got a place where they're asking you for more specific data for this project. So sunlight exposure, definitely full sun. Preferred color scheme, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, oh, maybe mixed palette. Maintenance level, very low. I have kind of a black thumb. Flower bed shape, five feet by 20 feet. Can I just say that? So it's going to give me some flowers based on the information I gave it, but I really haven't given it enough information. So I need to come back into the chat and say, I live in garden zone 9B in the Bay Area. My soil quality is super, super poor and the garden, the flower bed is going to be in baking hot sun. And I'm looking for sort of low maintenance, low water usage flowers that will bloom all season long. Okay, so now I've given it 
actual information. And you can see what it had done without me giving it anything previously. So I think if I give it actual useful details, this should be much more specific. Tana, that's one of my favorites. Okay, so that's awesome. Gave me a list of flowers that are suited to my soil conditions, my growing conditions. Oh, I forgot to tell it something. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I would like a mixture of tall, medium, and short flowers so I have some height variation in the flower bed. All right, so it's going to go ahead and it's going to redo that. So you can see over here here it's got cards that you could drag and drop onto your workspace. I could upload a file. I could add a URL. Let's do that. Like there's a local nursery. All right. So that's great. Okay. So this is the table that they've given me of flowers. And if I wanted, I could add another column. Ooh, I would love some photos. And you can add as many as you want, whatever you want. I'm very excited that it's adding photos because I have tried to do this same project using some deep research tools before, and I could not get them to import actual photos. So already this is kind of an amazing improvement over Manus and Gemini and Perplexity. And I think I even used uh, OpenAI's deep research. So this, just right here, this was a showstopper for me because it was something I hadn't been able to do previously in the super deep research thinking models. And this is just, you know, I came in cold, astonishing. All right, so I kind of love that. The other thing that's very cool is down here at the bottom, they've got suggestions, pop out a new card with more details about drought tolerant landscaping, companion plants for your flower bed, they'll kind of give you um, ideas about what else you might want to ask for or add or other cards that you could add to this space. So to me, this is, it's more like a, a brainstorming tool, but it's like borrowing somebody else's brain because it's adding things that I would never have thought to ask for. That's super cool. All right, let me zoom in a little bit and you can click on the photos, um, but you can see so you can really see what you're see what you're looking at. I know that doesn't make much sense. I'm still just a little bit stunned by this tool. So I'm still stumbling around and a little speechless because this to me is just so impressive. This is what I want my whiteboarding tools to do or even like like my mind mapping tools. I I kind of want it to do this. It's like it's pulling the ideas from my brain and putting them down and then adding their own ideas. And it's like, yeah, I need that. I need somebody else to explain to me what I'm thinking or what I should be thinking sometimes. So you can go to each card. You can expand it. So you could really, you could put in a whole itinerary in here. You could put in um, meeting notes or a presentation. And you can see down here, it's got more suggestions that you could add to your project. So that already to me is kind of amazing. And I was just super happy with this and blown away. But the thing that drew Cove to my attention was this AI app feature. So we're going to grab that. And we are going to say, could you build me a visual layout of the flower bed, uh, make it like a five by 20 grid, and then give me a list of the flowers that I could drag and drop and put onto that grid and uh, make sure that the flowers have photos included so I can kind of see what I'm adding to my garden. All right. Can it do that? I don't know. But this is the vibe coding piece that is kind of astonishing because I could go try to vibe code this somewhere else, but there's a few pieces of, of setup that you need to know. In this, I am literally just speaking into the tool and saying, go build me this thing. I've seen in their demonstrations, sometimes their tool will even suggest an AI app to you. I think in their Yosemite trip demo, they suggest an app for stargazing specifically. So I think it comes up with maps of the constellations and gear that you might want to take with you when you go. In fact, on their homepage, they have a whole gallery of spaces that other people have created. And you can either go look at them or you can copy them and sort of play around with them on your own just to see what, uh, what ideas other people have had and what Cove has come up with for them. Ooh, this is very nice. So here's my flower bed. Here is my flower palette. Oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. 
So, you know, I could put a few of these back here. Oops, interesting. Maybe a bug, okay. The app does not seem to be allowing me to drag and drop more than one flower. Can you fix that? These things don't always work perfectly the first time out of the gate. Uh, did it update? Nope. All right, well, you know, so that's, that's not quite, that's not perfect. I mean, it is vibe coding. I had better luck when I was playing with this yesterday. It, it didn't give me anywhere near as nice of an app, but I was able to drag and drop the flowers. So let's try one more time. Can you update the flower bed layout designer so that I can drag multiple flowers into the flower bed layout grid? Right now I can only add one flower. Okay, try this again. No. All right. So unfortunately, it can't do that. It's a little disappointing that it's not updating that. I had much better success yesterday. All right. So even though the app didn't quite work, hopefully you can see what a kind of, like I said, a brainstorming tool this could be. You could plan a, a classroom party if you weren't really a party planning person. And it could give you suggestions about little icebreaker games to play, what kind of theme maybe you could do. I love the fact that it just makes these suggestions in the context of the space that you're working in. Because if I know exactly what I'm doing, I mean, this would be a great tool if I literally knew exactly what to put down and AI could just fill in a lot of those blanks and then I could just do a brain dump of what else I needed. But to me, the real power of this is just how much it's, it's suggesting to me and the things that it's coming up with that I wouldn't have even thought to ask for or to do. I was just very impressed with this. So what's the catch? Pricing. They have a starter account that you can use for free. It gives you unlimited spaces, which is that whiteboard, unlimited viewers and unlimited editors for your space. I didn't talk about that, but I could share that space with a co-collaborator. So we could both be working on it together. I could share it with my sister if she was a gardener and she could work on it, edit it, give me ideas. If you were planning a meeting or a presentation and you had coworkers that were working on it, you could all have access to either view or edit that space. And that would all be free. And you, it's got a slight upload image and file size limit. But so for free, you can get 100 AI credits. What does that mean? AI credits. With those 100 AI credits you get for free, creating AI apps will consume five credits. So that's that garden planner drag and drop thing that I tried to create that didn't quite work. And other cards will consume one credit. So every card I had on the space was one credit. The app was five. And if you want more than that, you can upgrade to a plus account for $10 a month and you get unlimited credits. Okay, so you saw me make the garden workspace and I did something very similar to that yesterday. And I have 78 credits remaining. When I came in today, I think I had 91. So apparently I used 13 credits creating that workspace. So you can see that's definitely enough for you to get going, to try several projects, and maybe that's enough for you, or if you might wanna to upgrade to the $10 a month plan. And you can always go into their gallery to take a look. They've got some really creative ideas in here. If you are trying to learn something deeply, you could really build a lot of tools. Flashcard app is one of their most common apps that I've seen in here. Uh, this is to help your kids go to sleep at night. It builds a little rocket ship breathing, sort of meditation app, road trip planner. I mean, this would be fantastic for road trips and on and on and on. All right, so I hope you found that as interesting as I did. Uh, let me know if you decide to use it and what you're using it for. I think the possibilities are just kind of mind boggling. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.